Kiram Nadirtha. I think it's actually pronounced Kurum Nadirtha. Kurum Ki Kiram Nadirtha. No, no, no. Kurum Nadirtha. My Kentucky accent can't do that. Kiram Nadirtha. You have to roll your R's. I can't roll my R's. <laughs> Kurum Nadirtha. Kiram Nadirtha. No, listen. Kurum. Kuram. Okay, while they try to figure that out, here's our review for a new company out of Chicago called Kiram Nadirtha. Welcome to Bluegrass Bearded. I'm Ken. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to also follow me on social media at Instagram and Facebook at Bluegrass Bearded. And make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell. Thanks for stopping by. Stay bearded and be blessed. Hey, good morning. Happy Monday. Welcome into the Beard Cave. My name is Ken. This is Bluegrass Bearded. And if you are here for the first time, Thank you very much for being here, for clicking that link, for following the next video. However you got here, I greatly appreciate you being here. Hopefully you will take some time to look at my other videos after this, see what I have to offer, and hopefully I can earn your subscription. For those of you coming back that have been here before, thank you again for all your support. It truly means the world to me that you keep coming back and watching videos just to see what I've got to say about these products that I try. So. Today we are going to talk about a company that is fairly new. They've been around for a couple of months at this point. They started October 1st. I did a video um, several weeks ago, did an unboxing video. So we're going to talk about that unboxing, the product that was there, and then some other products that I have from this company. And we're going to do this just like we always do. First, we're going to talk about the company. So again, the company we're talking about today is Kiram Nadirtha. Kiram Nadirtha is a company located out of Chicago, out of Barrington, Illinois. The owners are Mike and Tay. Mike is a retired Marine, and Mike and Tay have had dreams for a number of years for starting a beard and hair care company. Now, at some point, Mike, as part of his duty, the Marines had to move to Japan, so they lived in Japan for a couple of years. And while they were there, they were working on some ideas, some, some blends, ingredients, things like that. And they're now back in the States, again, located in Illinois, there in Chicago. Now, Kiram Nadirtha opened October 1st of 2020. He's got a number of products here that he sent me that we're gonna talk about. Before we do that, let's talk about the price. So pricing for Kiram Nadirth is very straightforward. We'll talk about a couple things here. So you can get a one ounce oil. One ounce oil, this is gonna run you $16.50. Two ounce butter. Two ounce butter is gonna be $17. Now they also have hair pomade, which for obvious reasons I don't have, I'm not reviewing, but they do have that. The price for that is $18. Now you can also get bundles. You can get an oil and butter bundle, $28. So that brings you out to about $14 each. And you can also get a bundle of oil, butter, and hair pomade. They call that the beer and hair care bundle, I believe. That is $48. So that brings you to about $16 per uh, piece of that bundle. So pricing is definitely great if you bundle up, just like normal, typically companies do it that way. So if you bundle up, you get, you get a little bit of a price break on each one. Um, you can get all three, the oil, butter, and the pomade for that 48 bucks. So that's a pretty good deal. I don't know anything about the pomade. Again, have no use for it. So uh, Mike did not send that to me, but let's go talk about the products, the oils and butters that I do have. All right, so if you guys remember going back to my unboxing video, and I will throw that right up here just in case you did not see that. I did an unboxing when I first received the package Mike sent out to me. And that package was one oil, one butter, and that was the Slante Cara oil and butter combo. Now this is a scent that was very interesting when I was doing the unboxing. I wasn't quite sure what to make of the scent. The scent was something that was very different for me. Um, it, I wasn't quite sure how it was gonna go once I started wearing it. So. Since that video, you know, I'm a few weeks behind on videos from the time that I received something to when I actually do a review. You know, I was a couple of weeks behind there. Mike reached out to me while I was waiting during that time period. And he said, hey, I just want you to know that we're gonna discontinue the Slante Cara. The reason being the scent, I let him know, you know, respectfully that, that I personally, I agree with that decision, that I think that this is a scent that a lot of people are not going to like. Um, I, for me, coming up on the review, it was something that I was, kind of curious about how I was going to feel about it once I had it in beard. And so that's the conversation we had. We, we chatted a little bit about some scents. He sent me out some more stuff that I reviewed instead. So the Slante car I did not wear. Now, all that being said, when I look today, before I film this, it is still on the website. Slante car is still available. 
So I don't know the plan if he's still going to discontinue that. Um, I do know that it's there and it was also given away as part of a giveaway on my live stream last Wednesday. So I don't know Mike's plan for that, if that's still going to stay on the site or not. Um, but just for what that's worth, I did not wear it, so I'm not reviewing that specific product. Based on the scent, based on what Mike told me, um, you know, based on the scent out of the bottle, it's not something that I would pick up or, or wear. So take that for what it's worth. I'm not sure if that's going to be on the site much longer or not. Here are the products that he sent me out. So he did send me out um, two oils. He sent me out Cinnamon Dream and Lime and Coconut. Totally different on these. These scents are incredible. We'll talk about scents, um, but completely different ball games. So these are the two scents here. He also sent me out some samples of Yule Tidings, Irish Cream, and Forbidden Forest. So these five scents here, I've loved. We're going to talk about it, but completely different than Slante Cara. Huge improvement. These scents were awesome. He also sent me out a butter. He sent me the Lime and Coconut Butter, which we're going to talk about too. So just a great scent here. All right, let's talk about the oil first. Now, in his oils, we'll cover the ingredients. The ingredients in his oils are jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, apricot oil, black Jamaican castor oil, sunflower seed oil, macadamia nut oil, vitamin E oil, and essential oil blend. This is complete essential oil. So let's first talk about the oils. I'll show you this here. This one is Cinnamon Dream. You can see the color there. It is a slight golden color. I find this oil to be a medium consistency. So this is a, if, if I go in a range of, you know, say one to 10 for thickness, this is probably about a, a five. Um, so middle of the road there, it's not the thickest, not the thinnest. For me, for my beard, the consistency is great. This is pretty much where I like my oils. So the consistency, how it felt going in was awesome. Now, as far as feel and beard goes, um, this is kind of a tale for me personally of two different feels and beard. Now, first going in, and for the first several hours, it is amazing. I love the way this felt in my beard. And that's typical when I have something like a castor oil, or in this case, a black Jamaican castor oil, which is completely different than castor oil. My beard loves those oils. Um, the other oils in here, the jojoba, the sweet almond, apricot, just a great blend of oils. Now. The other side of that for me, this is kind of where this review gets harder for me. I've talked to Mike throughout the week. Um, the first day I wore it, I noticed by the end of the day, my beard was really dry, kind of wiry. I didn't think about it too much because the reason I review so many days is because a lot of times you can have a, you know, a bad beard day. You can have, you know, something else going on that makes it feel that way. So, uh, so day one, I just kind of chalked up that. Now, as the, the week went on, I noticed that same feeling each day. Um, that's something for me that every day, consistently throughout this review period that that's what I noticed so so I talked to Mike after that I made some suggestions that I think may help the fill and beard last all throughout the day Mike was very open to my suggestions so we'll see down the road kind of how this goes okay so let's talk about the butter now so the butter is a two ounce butter the butter that I have to review for you guys is lime and coconut which once again was a great scent I love this scent let's talk about the ingredients in the butter Ingredients in the butters, shea butter, mango butter, apricot oil, vitamin E oil, essential oil blend. Now this butter, I've used this day and night. I want to show you the consistency here. So this is the butter. Now this is very, very creamy. I don't know if you can really see that. You kind of have a whipped uh, cream, a frosting type consistency to this. This is one of the softest and creamiest butters that I've ever felt out of the jar. Um, if you can see that there, my finger just gliding right through there. Just a very, very nice butter. The feel of this butter, the creaminess of it, and the initial feel and beard for this, going into the beard is just awesome. I found uh, wearing it during the night, it lasted me all night long. It was a great feel and beard when I woke up. Now that being said, you know, we uh, typically go to bed 10, 30 or 11. I get on average about six to seven hours of sleep. so. Um, so when I wake up after using this, the beard feels great. I still smell that lime and coconut smell. It's a great experience as a nighttime butter. During the day, it started off the same way. It kind of goes along with the oils. During the day, it started off great, but by the end of the day, once again, beard was kind of dry. Um, it just did not last. That filling beard didn't last throughout the day for me. Now you notice that the ingredients in the butter, the carrier blend is different than what's in his oils. So it's gonna depend on that ratio. I, su I suspect that in the butters, 
I don't know the ratio of the vitamin E, but it could be that there's a little bit too much vitamin E. Really not sure, I don't wanna speculate. Now me and Mike have had conversations about the, the carrier blend and the oils. And when we were talking about that, he asked me, you know, the suggestions I was making, should he also make the changes in the butter? And I said, yes, my suggestion would be for the butter that we use the same carrier blend. Typically that's what you're gonna see across uh, most oil butter combos, you would see that same carrier blend. So that's my suggestion. I will say Mike has been super receptive to the suggestions that I've had. He's been great to talk to, great to work with. And I think if he takes these couple of suggestions, he's gonna take a product that's good because don't get me wrong, even with the feel and beard issues that I had with us throughout the week, these are good products. These are a great start for a brand new company. I think if he takes the suggestions that I did make and moves forward with those and kind of tests a couple of formulations, I think he could take something good here and make it a great product. So let's talk about the scents. Now the first scent that we'll talk about is lime and coconut. This is something I have in the oil and the butter. The scent between both of these is very consistent. The scent is, is really nice on this one. Really enjoyed this one. The lime and coconut in this is, is good in the oil. Yeah, you get that lime and coconut very nicely. This is, uh, you know, imagine being on the beach, uh, the lime and coconut smell that you may get from some drinks. That's what you get here. This scent I enjoyed, and again, this scent out of everything I've got here, this scent lasted the longest in my beard. Okay, now the next scent that I have here is Cinnamon Dream. Now Cinnamon Dream, even though cinnamon's in the name, there is no cinnamon in this, so if you're worried about cinnamon essential oil on your skin, there's no cinnamon. What you actually have here is vanilla, orange, and cardamom. Now this scent for me was very, very nice. It's a great spicy, uh, you know, a medium mild kind of spice scent to this. Um, I get mostly that cardamom, but you definitely get the vanilla and the orange. You know, for me, this is a nice holiday scent. Um, this is not marketed as his holiday scent, but that's what this is for me. This kind of reminds me of the spicy smells you get around Christmas time, around Thanksgiving. Great scent there. So the next thing we'll talk about is Forbidden Forest. This is a sample that he sent me. Now Forbidden Forest is lavender, sandalwood, pine, and cedarwood. So this is a nice light scent. It's not a very strong one. Um, again, I'm not sure how much skin safe he has, if he can increase that at all, but the scent, it's a very mild scent. So that was a nice mild scent. Okay, next up is Yule Tidings, which is his, is his current Christmas scent. This one is Candy Canes, Christmas Trees, and Holiday Cheer. So again, I definitely, you know, lightly, I get the Christmas trees and the candy canes very, very light. The candy canes are not strong at all. Definitely a light, to me, a light pine Christmas tree type scent. So another light one. Now the last one that I have here is Irish Cream. Irish Cream should be releasing this Friday, and Irish Cream is straight up a coffee. Straight up. Now, out of all the scents that I've got here, this to me is the strongest scent. You definitely get a vanilla coffee vibe from this. Yep, and when I had it in beard, it lasted a little bit longer than the other ones too. So, so again, if you like coffee scents, if you like that, I think that's going to be a great one. This is one that I'll probably jump out and buy the full bottle and butter just to see, to get that full experience. Because like I said, I think this is the strongest of the scents he has. I'd, be, I'd love to check that out. So. So those are the products. Let me collect my thoughts here. I'm gonna come back to you guys with a conclusion. Okay, so my conclusion. Now my conclusion is where I answer two main questions and then talk about my BPRS score. So first let's answer those questions. Those questions are, would I recommend you guys buy this and would I buy this again? Now we'll tackle the first one first. Would I buy this again? I'm gonna say yes to that. I would buy, I'm, I'm gonna buy the Irish cream. I wanna smell that coffee scent in the beard, um, but I'm gonna hold off. I know that while I was talking to Mike and we were talking about some of the suggestions that I had, um, he was very open to working with me and maybe possibly reformulating to help the feel and beard just last throughout the day. I think if he tackles that, if he tackles that reformulation, I think these are gonna be some great products. As far as the scent goes, I did talk a little bit about the, the mild scents. I happen to be a person that likes stronger scents. So for these, I'm not sure where he is on the scents as far as how much he can increase those. Again, scents are subjective, they're very hard. Some of you guys may not like stronger scents. So these scents may be perfect for some of you. Would I buy these again though? I don't. Based on scent alone, I'm not gonna put a whole lot into that. Mostly it's that fill and beard, so. 
it, it sounds like and hopefully I'll be working with Mike over the next couple of months to possibly work on this. We'll see how that turns out. We're going to work on this hopefully. I'm going to work with Mike over the next couple of months and I think these could be great. Now my BPRS score, my BPRS score for this company does come in at a 9.120. Again, for me that's based on mostly the feel and beard, not lasting throughout the day, and the mild sense. Now, my scores can change if we work on this, if Mike works on this with or without me, I keep saying we, but with or without me, Mike is under no obligation to work with me at all or to even take my suggestions. But depending on how the reformulation goes, if he goes into that, that score can change. So keep your eyes out for that. I'm sure that I will be talking about this company again in the future. As far as customer service, the owners, uh, the, the presentation for the, the containers, all that different kind of stuff, those are all great. Mike and Tay are two great people. Mike is an awesome guy. He's been out in the community. You guys have seen him. He is great to talk to. When we talked about some of the concerns that I had and, and, and all that, he was super awesome, super receptive. So um, just they're great people. I think this company has a future. And so, the, like I said, that score based mainly alone on feel and beard and for me, the sense a little bit. So, so guys, that's my review for Kiramna Dirtha. Do me a favor, down in the comments, let me know, have you tried them? If you've tried them, let me know what your experience was with Phil and Beard, how that was for you. I kind of want to get a consensus of, or kind of a general idea of, am I the only one that feels that way? Or is there somebody else that feels that way? Again, there's a lot of reviews out there you guys can check out. Let me know that down below. Also, let me know if you plan on trying this. Curious to know your thoughts. If you have any questions for me, throw those in the comments below. I'm sure that I will answer those. I'm sure that Mike will probably see he may answer some of those. So any comment that you have, throw that down below. We'd we'll love to chat with you. Also, if you don't mind, please hit the like on this video if this video has helped you in any way. If you find any value here and hit that subscribe button and that bell so that you'll be notified when I release more videos. Certainly appreciate every single one of you guys. This is video 100 on my channel. So a milestone there for me. Appreciate you guys watching. And as always guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. We will see you for the next one. Stay bearded and be blessed. See you later. Thanks for watching. Check out bluegrassbearded.com where you can find my podcast, Off the Bearded Path, available on your favorite podcast network, and Bluegrass Bearded Digital Services if you need graphic design. You can also find my BPRS scores, official merchandise discounts, and more. 